Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a reverse spiral. For this project, we're starting off with a black t-shirt. I washed it in a hot water cycle with some Synthropol, and it's damp from the washing machine. That lighter color that you see, that's just because it's been sitting there for a little while and it's started to dry out. I'm using a hemostat to create my spiral. If you don't have a hemostat, you can use a fork. If you don't wanna use a fork, you can use your fingers. It's whichever you prefer. Once you have it all spiraled up, it's time to secure it. For this project, I'm going to use rubber bands. I like to use rubber bands for spirals. I just feel like they're easiest. And I have a link down below in the description box for these rubber bands and everything else that I use to create tie-dye. Now I'm going to mix up my bleach for this reverse dye, and it's a 50-50 blend. So I'm mixing one cup of bleach to one cup of water, because I'm going to be doing several shirts. But as long as you just do half and half, you'll be fine if you want to mix a smaller batch. For added precaution, I'm using plumber's tape to wrap around the opening of this bottle. Since I'm going to be doing several shirts, I just wanna make sure that it's not going to leak and drip bleach anywhere where I don't want bleach to be. When you work with bleach to do reverse dyes, you need to neutralize it afterwards. And the recipe for this is nine cups of tap water to one cup of peroxide. I'm making a double batch, so you're seeing me do 18 cups of water and two cups of peroxide. The reason for that is because my tote is large, and so I needed it to be deep enough to submerge the shirts. Okay, now we're ready to do the bleaching process. And I wanna saturate with bleach so it gets down about halfway through the thickness. I don't wanna oversaturate and have it go all the way through to the other side. So I do this in a couple of passes. And my goal is to let it sit for about 20 minutes so I am watching the timer.
I added the bleach water solution a couple of times. I really wanted to make sure that I got enough saturation and enough lift so that when I pack the dye back on, we're going to be able to have enough lightness to the black shirt so that we can see the colors of dye. We're about 15 seconds shy of 25 minutes and I feel like we have enough lift that we can neutralize it now. So I take it and I set it inside the peroxide water mix and ultimately it sat in this solution for about 30 minutes before we take it to the sink and give it a very thorough rinse out. I'm using warm water to rinse out any bleach and any peroxide that might be in this shirt. Rinse it very well. Once you have it rinsed the way that you like it, squeeze out as much of the extra moisture that you can. The next step, the shirt needs to soak in soda ash. I let my shirt soak for about an hour just to make sure that it really got a good thorough soak because it was so wet from the sink. Because there is so much moisture from all the previous steps, I decided to dye this on a dye towel. I'm hoping that while I'm adding the dye, the towel is going to draw the moisture out and into the towel and also help pull the dye down from the top down into the pleats. I want to point out that I'm really heavily saturating with dye. There's so much moisture from all of those previous steps that I'm concerned that it's full with water and other things that the dye isn't going to have a chance to penetrate. So really apply the dye heavy handed. Since this shirt is a black shirt, so the back of it is black, I decided I was just going to batch it inside of a plastic bag that I sit inside of a tote and batch it for 24 hours. It's been 24 hours and it's time for the rinse out. And I treat this shirt like I would if it was a white t-shirt. So I start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any of the soda ash that's still left in the shirt although I don't really think it matters in this application, but I do it anyways. And then I gradually increase the water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol. And I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft to bring softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. Then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. Now this reverse dye, I really like a lot. First of all, I happen to just really love spirals. And second, I really love rainbows. But this one turned out really pretty. The colors are nice and vibrant. So overall, I'm very happy with this shirt. And if all the reverse dyes are gonna be like this, then I like this process. What do you guys think? please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. 
Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.